it's your boy A Man's back with some new heat for y'all today. She said. Last episode was crazy, man. The way it ended, Lord Stark had to kill Lady because that was the only die wolf they had in sight. Because the other one, they couldn't find the other one. I really kind of scared them off and stuff like that. But this is crazy, bro. Come, I don't remember. Yo, I'm surprised that Lord Stark is still alive. Like I told y'all, like I tried to watch this back before, and I remember him getting his head cut off. I thought that happened the first episode. My man is still alive and kicking. So hopefully he find out the truth about his son who pushed his son and he able to avenge that before he get mopped bro. but at any rate them lannisters family they gotta go bro i don't know how they gotta go bro they're they're they are too toxic but yeah man i don't even know for the dog i'm ready to get into episode three man let's go Meister Pysel has called a meeting of the small council. The honor of your presence is requested. If you'd like to change into something more appropriate. <laughs> he like freak now. Oh my gosh, this nigga, bro. Um, what's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. The hands of mama. Not a scratch on it. I know. Mm. People have been swinging at me for years. They always seem to miss. Chosen your opponents wisely then. Mm. You say you've been fighting boys. It was very brave of your brother. Of your father too. He didn't deserve to die like that. He just stood there and watched. Mm. Hundred men just stood there and watched. When I watched the Mad King died, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. Start just kill him right now. Just mock this motherfucker. Is that what you tell yourself at night? Mm. You served him well. And serving was safe. Mm. Talk to him. Lord Stark. You served him well when serving was safe. Oh, Lord Stark. Man. Oh, I can't believe that's gonna happen to him. I love this dude. You're all praying for Prince Joffrey's full recovery. Shame you didn't say a prayer for the butcher's son. Mmm. Humble. Should we begin? Without the king. Winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. Oh, that's his brother. The king's brother? To us, that we might like him small we matter. Small matters here. My brother instructs us to stage a tournament in honor of Lord Stark's appointment as Hand of the King. Mm, a much? tournament? Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? I'm telling you the crown is six million in debt. How could he let this happen? I'll speak to him tomorrow. This tournament is an extravagance we cannot afford. As you will, but still, we'd best make our plans. There will be no plans until I speak to Robert. Hey, Stark coming in changing shit, isn't it? This punk boy, yo, I'm gonna be rolling my eyes at multiple people I could tell already. It's pretty much them, this family right here. A king should have scars. You fought off a dire wolf. You're a warrior, like your father. I'm not like him. He didn't he fight off a dire. Me and all I did was scream. Yeah. You killed the beast. You only spared the girl because of the love your father bears her father. I didn't die. What? You'll sit on the throne and the truth will be what you make it. Oh my gosh, bro. This is bad. And if you don't like her, you only need to see her on formal occasions and when the time comes to make little princes and princesses. Dang. And if you'd rather fuck painted whores, you'll fuck painted whores. <laughs> Do something nice with the star girl. I don't want to. No, but you will. He embarrassed because she saw him act like a business. How would you handle them? I double their taxes and command them to supply 10,000 men to the Royal Army. The Royal Army? A standing army of men loyal to the crown, trained by experienced soldiers instead of a mob of peasants who've never held pikes in their lives. Like you. A good king knows when to save his strength. She's been, oh my gosh. She is a problem. 
Everyone who isn't us is an enemy. Enough of oh my gosh. I'm practicing. Practicing. <laughs> She's about to stab the prince. Yeah. He is. He killed my friend. You're a liar. And if you told the truth, Mike would be alive. Enough. I don't like her sister, bro. Her sister is freaking liar too. I'd rather act like a beast than a lady. Go to your room. We'll speak later. Prince rubbing off that family rubbing off on his daughter right here, bro. Lying ain't us. The same doll maker makes all the Princess Marcella's toys. I haven't played with dolls since I was eight. The doll ugly as freak. What was easier than daughters? <laughs> Oh, this sword gonna come in handy, bro. Go away. That her brother gave her. <laughs> Whose sword is that? Mine. Where did you get this? Seen no snitch. What do you want with this? It's called needle. Hmm. She named it. Name. <laughs> and who were you hoping to skewer with needle? Your sister? <laughs> Might as well. I asked my kids to practice with me. Mm. I asked him. It was my fault. Damn, it's not your fault. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. She cannot betray him. But how can you let her marry someone like that? Mm. <laughs> she asked a real question. <laughs> Winter is coming. Winter is coming. We must protect ourselves. Look after one another. Sansa is your sister. Her name is Sansa? We cannot fight a war amongst ourselves. Go on. I can keep it. Try not to stab your sister with it. <laughs> she gonna bop her sister, bro. Don't listen to it. Crows are all liars. Can he not move? I know a story about a crow. I hate your story. <laughs> I know a story about a boy who hated stories. Uh oh. My favorites are the scary ones. Fear is for the winter. Fear is for the long night. When the sun hides for years and children are born and live and die all in darkness. That is the time for fear, my little lord, when the white walkers move through the woods. Thousands of... Dang, she's talking about the white walkers too. Lasted a generation. What? And women smothered their babies rather than see them starve. Dang. So is this the sort of story that you like? He <laughs> said, yeah. Darkness, the white walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms, riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. Oh, Grandma, scary ain't a story, man. One time she told me. The sky is blue because we live inside the eye of a blue-eyed giant named Macumba. <laughs> Maybe we do. Hmm. How do you feel? Has he told anybody? Do remember anything? Oh, you don't remember nothing. I've seen you climb a thousand times. You never fall. I did, though. It's true, isn't it? What Maester Lewin says about my legs. Ah, he's paralyzed. Ah. Uh, is that? Wow. Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. Dang, he said it again. I don't know who's providing your instructions, but follow me, Lady Stark. Who knew they was coming? Oh my god. Is it a sn is it a snitch in Winterfell? Upstairs. Oh shoot. Okay, okay. You little worm! You take me for some back alley sally. You can drag into a <laughs> he said, get up. How did you know I was coming to King's Landing? Right. A dear friend told me. To see you again after so many years is a blessing. He's trying to confess his love or something? How did you know I was coming? Knowledge is my trade, my lady. What does it mean, knowledge is my trade? Valerian Steel. Do you know whose dagger this is? Something you don't know. That I do. That I do. 
There's only one dagger like this in all of the Seven Kingdoms. It's mine. Yours? I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. The Imp. Dang, so the, just a dwarf dagger? Do you think Ned Stark's bastard bleeds like the rest of us? <laughs> He's about to get bopped. <laughs> Next. This 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 was the nice watching it, man. Hey. Charming man. I don't need him to be charming. I need him to turn this bunch of thieves and runaways into men of the night's watch. Oh, okay. Go and command a moment. Slowly. So is he the commander of the night's watch? Good news or bad? Both. Uh, I meant to give you this earlier. Uh, it's old, ain't it? Uh, a raven from Winterfell this morning. Good news? Perhaps you'd like to share it with your wife. Uh-oh. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? <laughs> is she? Well, your wife down the street. But they be going crazy in this show. You're a funny man. Huh? A very funny man. Ned! <laughs> he said. Broke my nose, bastard. <laughs> yeah, he mad. <laughs> he like, what you gonna do about it? Y'all gonna try to jump him? It's an improvement. <laughs> What you looking at, Halfman? I'm looking at you. You've got an interesting face. <laughs> I think they would look marvelous decorating spikes in King's Landing. Perhaps I'll write to my sister, the Queen, about it. Oh, you know what? He couldn't have had nothing to do with that dagger because he was gone. So I'm pretty sure his siblings like tried to frame him, bro. But I don't think they like him anyway. His sister, and, his sister and brother. They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing none of them are trained by master at arms like your Sir Rosa. Mm. Imagine any of them have ever held a real sword before they came here. That's true. We have proof. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only man who could say otherwise has no throat. Thank Dang. you, boys, wolf. Dang. Master has promised to help us find the truth. He's like a little brother to me, Ned. He would never betray my trust. He's like a little brother. Excuse your wife anything. I won't forget this. You're a true friend. Don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to maintain. <laughs> I ain't think about that. He tells his father what he saw. We'll say he was lying. We'll say he was dreaming. We'll say whatever we like. They can write a ballad about us. The wolf who says he's cut. But this dang. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Him, Ned Stark, the king, the whole bloody lot of them. <sighs> bro, I'm gonna be so happy when both of them get mopped, bro. I hope it don't take a long time either. You watch yourself on the road, huh? That temper of yours is a dangerous thing. My temper? <laughs> That's be good. You nearly killed her little finger yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he still loves you. Ah, oh, the dude who's helping him out. A man can tell, bro. She like does he? I don't give a freak about him. It's a good kiss. <sighs> Dang, bro. He came running at me, this dumb, highborn lad. Thinking he could end the rebellion with a single swing of his <laughs> sword. I knocked him down with the hammer. God, I was strong then. <laughs> Caved in his breastplate. <laughs> That's how old people be doing. They be, they be reminiscing, but. And he'd be waking three times in the night to piss into a bowl of wine. Lanza. Gods, what a stupid name. Boy, you knew there wasn't no more wine in there. Lannister. Who named you? Some half-wit with a stutter. 
That's a Lannister too. Oh my gosh, they got another sibling. Tell your cousin to get in here. Kingslayer, get in here. Oh, it's his cousin. Call him Kingslayer. Every time I close my eyes, I see their blonde hair and their smug, satisfied faces. <laughs> Who was your first kill, not counting old men? Shade. I was there that day. You were only a squire. He must have got an alibi. What did the Mad King say when you stabbed him in the back? He said the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. So did he kill um Ned's father? The Dothraki don't believe in money. Most of their slaves were given to them as gifts. They don't believe in money. Dang! Tell them all to stop. For how long? Until I command them otherwise. <clears throat> You're learning to talk like a queen. Yes, she is. Queen, a Khaleesi. A Khaleesi. Where's she going? She gotta use the bathroom. You do not command the dragon. I am lord of the seven kingdoms. I don't take orders from savages or their sluts. Do you hear me? Woo! <laughs> If you want him dead, no. Her brother better watch his place. She a queen around here. She said, mm -hmm. "Kill these Dothraki dogs! I am your king." Shall we return to the Kalisa, Kalisi? This man about to get a rude awakening, bro. We well, already getting one. Uh, 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 uh. Walk. Walk. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> hey, bro. He was mad as heck. How dare you command me? Boy, I feel I'm gonna sit down somewhere. Bruh. That looks scary as freak. That's a strong hug. <laughs> that is too high, man. Anybody ever rock climb before? You're leaving. What? Where are you going? I'm the first range. Oh no, nah, you're gonna get mopped. You're not going. You're no ranger, John. But I'm better than every better other. Better than no one. <clears throat> Here. A man gets what he earns. When he earns it. Be patient, Snow. We'll speak when I return. I feel like he'll die by whatever them White Walkers are, man. Hopefully he don't, though. And how do a bear's bulls taste? That's nasty. Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> he said a bit chewy. What about you, my lord? What's the strangest thing you've eaten? Do Dornish girls count? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Half the boys you've seen training will die in order to the warm. So plump little lords like you can enjoy their summer afternoons in peace and comfort. Dang. Do you think I'm plump? <laughs> he did sip tea. You know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word blood really counts. Mm. Don't believe that giants and ghouls and white walkers are lurking beyond the wall. <sighs> it's not the wild who's given me sleepless nights. Mm. You've never been north of the wall, so don't tell me what's out there. Mm. I need to tell me like why the dwarf came with them to um the Night's nice Watch, because it's perfect for him. Because it's like he wasn't there when they found his dagger. I travel a bit on the grubby side, my lord. Not this time. We'll be staying at the finest castles and inns. No one turns away a Lannister. No one turns away a Lannister. Ath Jahaka. What did I just say? <laughs> okay. She said, oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, she pregnant? From the great stallion. Oh, is she pregnant? 
Speed defeats Sass. <laughs> she like ducks. I don't think she wants to be dog. The Khaleesi have baby inside her. <laughs> it is true. She does not bleed for two moons. The belly starts to swell. Two moons. I'll have the boys butcher a goat for supper. <laughs> she got a little, little attitude. Don't stand so still. They're becoming friends. They're becoming friends now. Hey, stalking ain't this. Winter is coming. Why are everybody so scared of winter? Like it's winter like and dark. Will come with it. Okay, so I guess every time winter comes, there's some some sort of evil they have to fight. How long does winter last? There are less than a thousand of us now. Your sister sits by the side of the king. Tell her we need help. When winter does, mm. God's help us all if we're not. She ain't gonna care about him asking her for help for this. She probably don't even believe it. She's too busy lying to everybody. She seems like she embraced the culture now. She's not like scared like she used to be. It's a boy. Goofy no say a nessa. Goofy no see a nessa. Such a nessa. <laughs> Imagine. Like somebody's peeing and you walking and it just falls on you, bro. I'll be peed off. No pun intended. If you see my brother Brum, tell him I miss him. Brum. Tell him I'd visit if I could. Of course. You are late, boy. Boy. Who are you? Your dancing master, Sirio Forel. Dang, can't even catch the sword. Tomorrow you will catch it. <laughs> now pick it up. They about to get trained. It is not a great sword that is needing two hands to swing it. Too heavy. Why keep calling her a boy? You are skinny. That is good. The target is small. Now the grip, let me see. The steel must be part of your arm. Can you drop part of your arm? No. Nine years, Sirio Farrell was first mm. sword. You must listen to me, boy. I'm a girl. Boy, girl. You are a sword. <laughs> Say. You are not holding a battle axe. You are holding... A needle. Mm. <laughs> now you will try to strike me. Where's my sword at? <laughs> Dang! Oh. Dead. Mm. Very dead. Mm. W dad, man, he got us some uh, sword lessons. Got her some sword lessons. Oh, he reminiscing. Oh, don't tell me this in. Bro, these episodes are going by so fast. Bro, why this episode is going by so fast, bro? Dang, man. So Lord Snow is with a nice watch. His uncle is about to go out. I, I fear for him, man, but his uncle seemed like he's a very capable dude. He might be able to withstand, but I don't know. Then we got the Lannister dwarf on his way back. Lord Snow asked him to um, pretty much say what's up to um, his little brother. Bro, Bran. On his way back to uh, King's Landing to stop at Winterfell, you know, if he can, to say what's up to his little brother. The brother's paralyzed, which sucks, man. Hopefully, I don't know. I've heard stories about people being able to walk again after being paralyzed, but he did fall from a very high motherfucking place, though. But yeah, man, them Lannisters, man, I do not like them, bro. 
they need to go bro but anyways these episodes ended fast i want to keep watching it i feel like if i would have like been as immersed in it as i am now if i was when i was watching it back then i would have started to like the show because like i said i fell asleep on everything bro <laughs> back then it was like seven eight years ago i just fell asleep and only seen uh parts of season one like i've been saying but anything after that i'm just like i don't have no clue about but yeah, man, I'm ready to get to this episode, episode four, y'all. Let's get it.